Today's video has been brought to you by Sheet Clothing. Go to www.sheetclothing.com for our line of hand designed signature caps and more information on how you can have your caps color customized to your liking. Plan your adventure. Subscribe to our mailing list to be informed about upcoming expansion to our line of clothing. Hey, what's going on everybody? Kazama Fury here. And news just broke today. Get this shit right here. Activision, two years ago, 2015, actually put in a pattern for a microtransaction algorithm. Do you know what this means? This means they have built a program in a game within they Call of Duty games, which intentionally pairs you up with advanced players to make you feel inadequate, to make you feel at a disadvantage. So you can intentionally buy microtransaction perks, weapons, and all this other stuff like I I'm speechless here like to actually think they programmed the way the game they programmed like that intentionally it's manipulation and hence the reason this video is called Call of Dupin Modern Cash Grab because microtransactions is a modern thing and it is taken the gaming industry on a ride at our expense as the gamers so think about it like this the next time you play a call of duty game go back and play an older call of duty game start your level over or if you just never i like i have infinite warfare i never played i want to play it i'm going to test this out myself and see it because I always wondered in the past if I'm starting a game and I am a private or whatever SPC PFC I mean private first class I don't know where that I came with the other one that but if I'm at that status why am I going against level 35 guys already and if this game just came out days ago or just a day ago you telling me there's people actually sitting there since yesterday and played it and ranked up that much? Do you have a life? Or is that a plan? Is that people you automatically, Activision is automatically putting onto their servers? Their personal games. I, I know it sounds tin for you. It sounds conspiracy-like. But think about it. I There's been times in the past I've purchased Call of Duty games. Unless it broke street date really that's another possibility right there breaking street date which why will have you playing people that's already ranked 35 a day or two after the game came out it's not from beta it doesn't carry over like you don't you only can reach a certain part in the betas so it's either the street date breaking or activision knows what the fuck they doing and they got it down to a t and i'm starting to think it might be both of them i'm not gonna sit here and go crazy over that but think about this they patent this and it's been revealed it's been revealed it the patent was given to them two years later here in 2017 this is why it broke news today or the day before either way this is ridiculous man this nothing i can really say to make to justify the situation all right even if you're a call of duty fan i used to be a big call of duty fan <sighs> boy like and think about it going back to world war ii this is what people have been dying for. This is what Call of Duty, older Call of Duty fans who kind of got disenchanted and disenfranchised were asking for. And now look what's behind it, okay? You have a microtransaction algorithm that will intentionally put you with people who are superior at the moment, okay? But I know there's people, and I've wondered. There's been times I've held my own. I'm not a great Call of Duty player 
at all by any means but it's been times i've held my own against a lot of these people who were ranked higher than me so are they this microtransaction thing these people might have been buying their ranks and buying stuff perks i don't know getting cheap kills who knows but to see it on paper and to know that it is a real thing makes you go damn 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 like what are we supposed to do now like are you gonna vote with your wallet are you gonna not buy this game are you gonna tell activision to go fuck themselves and like look i paid 60 dollars. i bought the season pass also you've got to be fucking kidding me how many people need to say how many people need to see a video like this to understand that this is not cool. Microtransactions in general have fucked up the game horribly. And while I'm talking about microtransactions, let's talk about, oh my God. Like, even think about the whole situation with Capcom, all right? What was a game that was infamous with microtransactions and had a shitload of them? Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Who costumes? Uh, out the yes, it's costumes and other stuff. You remember Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Remember how complete that game was? All the stuff you need to unlock is there in the game for you to unlock if you play and play and play and play. Remember that? Remember cheat codes? Remember the cheat codes used to be in the game? Remember they had the books and the oh, get this. Wait till this stage and hold these triggers here and press so and so, this, that, and the other. And it will give you infinite weaponry, but you will lose your ranking. So the cheat codes came at a price, which means you either play the game the right way or here, have fun and cheat and stuff if you don't care about ranking. You know, me, I would be like, okay, and I'm not talking about Call of Duty, I'm talking about when I'm talking about cheating. I'm talking about just any other game that once you complete the stage, it gave you bonus points and all this other good stuff. Like any game like that. Because you there ain't no cheat codes on mo online multiplayer. Well, Activision has cheat codes that you 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 they, they charge you for. This is why there's no more cheat cheat codes. Because now they can charge you all that stuff we used to go up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. All that now has been replaced by microtransactions, loot boxes, stuff like that. Sorry, my dog is trying to come into the scene. And stuff like that. So you don't know what to do. Like, it's like you paying for cheats now. They charge you for cheats. They monetize cheats and shortcuts. But now it's online. That's even worse. When you want to get online and multiplayer, like in a Call of Duty game or any other first-person shooter, you want to be able to earn that, you know? You want to be able to earn it. You might, okay, once you build up enough points, purchase scopes, purchase uh this perk, purchase that perk, but you put the work in here. You put the work in here. You've shot people, you've been shot repeatedly. You put the work in. You're starting to get better. Now, oh my God, I'm a rank one player. Let me do an example of the type of person that would buy these transactions. I do, okay, I just start the game. Okay, after three games, oh, I keep getting killed. Fuck, man, it's bullshit. This guy's a level 35. What am I supposed to do against that? Uh-oh, microtransaction. They're going to flash it on the screen, too. they going to flash it on the screen. So-and-so, purchase this one and that one. They, the game, the algorithm is smart. It will see your score, see you getting your ass handed to you because it puts you into, it, they, it, it honey-trapped you. It puts you into a situation like, fuck. But me, I'm the type of motherfucker who will still go at you disadvantage you know why because i am not giving up number two i am not buying that shit 
That is no, no. You it's sixty dollars and then I'm buying the season pass. If I'm buying the season pass. So think about it. That's a hundred and ten fucking dollars you coming out your pocket with. But if you bought the um if you bought the um what's that version of it already? Um the the, the collector's edition, this edition, that you already paying more than one ten. You paying for that collector's edition and you paying for the season pass. So they are mining, they are maximizing the shit out of these games. And you know what is funny? I don't see the production of these games getting even better. With all this money that they are making off of each of our heads, potentially, I don't see the games getting better. They just do the same shit over and over again. This is why the older I get, the shorter my supply, my, my collection grows. Because you start to see stuff as a mature man or woman. You start to see this like. You start to see articles like this. And you go. Fuck. Really? But then there's some fanboys who just like it. Hand over fist. Give them that money. Just give them that money. Give them that money. And stuff. And I don't love me. I don't understand it. I really don't understand why. How. With this information out right now, how this game is going to sell as much as any of the past ones did. Like, do you like Call of Duty that much? Do you want it that badly? You want to go back to World War II that bad? I get it. All right. I can understand that. This is the first World War II one in years. Boom. I can understand that, but think about it. When this game starts to really put you at a disadvantage and you're wondering why now you know deal with it and that's all i really have to say on this situation today so as usual keep watching what you want keep gaming the way you want keep being you because i'm a fury i'm out vote with your wallets people okay if you don't like what you've heard vote with your wallet if you like what you heard vote with your wallet you either way buy it or not buy it that's both with your wallet don't i'm not saying tell you not to buy the game i'm saying if you feel like you being taken advantage of which you are we all are vote with your wallet you know say no it's nothing wrong with it say yes there's still nothing wrong with it see you on this channel here it's nothing wrong with it if you could come and you tell me how you feel about it and stuff. All right, fine. I go left and right with you, but I'm not gonna call you an idiot. I'm not gonna say none of this stuff. But don't. Somebody, matter of fact, before I end this video, <laughs> on my um Resident Evil Seven, on my many videos I've done about how Seven is a disappointment, or rest in peace Resident Evil, or how it's underselling, whatever videos. Somebody recently told me that my, my point of view was stubborn, you know, that I'm too demanding, that I'm actually too demanding because I actually, by two years, it's been two years past, I don't have a trailer, I don't have a storyboard, nothing. Asking for that, to know that this game is in good hands and that it's real, is me being stubborn. Now that I take a problem with because we have those fans here that actually go to war for these companies who take them to the cleaners. All right. Now, if you came and on my comment section and you actually told me that, you know, this shit is happening, you know, what's happening, but you don't care because you like the game. I enjoyed the game but when you come on this channel and you speak like you work for Capcom or you work for Nintendo or whatever I'm not gonna respect that until you show me your credentials are you Jeff Keighley are you Jade Raymond whatever the f any of them you know at least Jeff Keighley is a good friend of Hideo Kojima like I said and that's one of my answers I said about Resident Evil 2 Hideo Kojima, Death Stranding, 
been in development for what two years almost if not he said he will not have anything ready he put these tech demo tra he put these trailers which are technically tech demos because when he put them when he made them I don't even think he selected the Decima engine yet he used I think he did do the Decima engine but he was he borrowed it now he finalized it quite some time ago and everything is in development right now it's not ready tell me that don't come out 2015 Capcom and say we do it and here it is 2016 nothing this year 2017 nothing give us something a picture fucking picture of how Leon is going to look in comparison to the um PlayStation 1 version of Leon you know clear all right are they gonna give you her Elsa Walker biker costume they're gonna probably microtransaction it that's what I'm afraid of when it comes to microtransactions all right think about it you're a long time fan of Resident Evil 2 and you think and you have a bad sinking suspicion they're gonna make this game microtransaction friendly which alienates the fans because this you want the game as is all right you want it to be enhanced you want the re2 original game but you want it to be much more than just a pretty paint job like the gamecube version that i always bring up because it is the remake that defines remake it added enemies to the game i mean it added like survival horror to the game they are basically revamping the zombie meaning and they made it tougher. You can't get headshots all the time. You can't blow the you're not gonna blow their heads off all the time. Which means you either gotta burn the bodies, which you don't have enough, or you to burn every single body, or you have to try your best to avoid. Or if you do kill the enemies, you gotta be ready to face a crimson head, which are dangerous. They the crimson heads are what the liquors are evolved from so you in that step in between zombie and liquor like i read that up on resident evil that's how i know that but anyway the game revamped its own survival horror things meaning like you, you can't kill every enemy and if you do you might face the consequences of not having enough ammo having them come back even stronger um then they added what Lisa Trevor they added more mystique to the mansion and how they experimented on people and really put umbrella into an even more fucked up light than what they are okay it did stuff like that now this is what I expect from Resident Evil 2 this is definitely what I expect from I don't expect microtransactions of a game a beloved remake of a classic that is what I'm afraid of this is why I ask for something to let us know information and you know the guy brought up one of my one of the people who comment on my page brought up a valid point you know they waiting for after December maybe by January we had info on it I hope so that would make that makes sense to me. I'm not gonna deny that that makes sense. It makes sense. My thing is everything I just aforementioned is what I fear. This game becoming a product of modern cash grab of duping or microtransactions. This is what I don't want that with Resident Evil 2. I want what they did with Resident Evil 1. That's what we deserve as the fans. You don't do that to a classic game. You just don't. If you remake in the game, you don't do that. Cause why? What I'm gonna do? Oh my god, I gotta buy all these costumes. I gotta buy um enhanced ammo. Oh shit. Really? Are you fucking kidding me? 
play the old version. That's what I'm gonna do. Fuck this. I'm not buying this shit. Why? Because it looked pretty? Oh, it's a high definition now. But you paid more to play a game in high definition. And you got fucked over in the end. And that's all I really have to say. That's why... That's another reason why... I have an issue with Resident Evil 2 Remake. With Resident Evil 7. With, um... Fucking Call of Duty now. I knew Call of Duty was... I knew it was fucked up, but... Jeez, man. You got it patent? Fuck off, Activision. But for real this time, keep watching what you want. Keep gaming the way you want. Keep being you, because I'm feeling I'm out peace.